Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. We are in the trading post. And uh, I suppose we're waiting uh, for the bandits to come back. We gotta talk with Oleg here. Oleg? I guess we're ready for an attack. Fear not. <clears throat> um, she has a deep voice. I'll stand between you and this scum. You're under my protection. The mirror flexes her shoulders. I'm a little bummed that we don't have voice acting right now. I, I mean, I, I don't really expect everything to be voice acted necessarily, but... Still. <clears throat> Finally a fight! Was bored with all this... All that talking. Well, these aren't the heroics I was hoping to write about, but I guess even the greatest heroes had to start somewhere. I see you're not easily cowed. I beg you, be careful, and please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Svetlana, go hide inside. We're going to meet our guests. Guests? Okay. Sure. You guys really should just hide in the house. Let me handle this. Even it's... Well, it's risky even for me. I suppose just get some bows. That could help. Just don't shoot me in the ass. That would be nice. Or maybe... Maybe after. But definitely not in the fight. Whoa! To hey. victory! Boken? Can we just uh, line this up somehow? Wait, what? Wrong formation. That's that's the one. Go in. Whoa, what the hell was that? Boken, I hope that was you. Look at that. How many archers they got? This is so hopeless. Can we do like a uh, hypnotism? I don't know what the fuck this does, but let's hypnotize everybody. I really hope this uh, is that awesome as it sounds. Okay, whatever. Let's drink that. Tease everybody. Does it work? Are you doing it? Oh, they made bill saves. What a miserable last. Well, I guess I was not ready, but holy crap! How am I supposed to do that? Can I set up some traps? Well, we gotta go and talk to Oleg. There's no way. There's nothing Adventures I can do that I can make that okay, right? I'm level two, but suddenly the game just got like so much harder. Well, let's get to the point. You say the bandits are going to attack again. Who are they and when will they arrive? Well, this is good. <clears throat> They're the Stag Lord's gang. That's who. These lands team with bandits like bag bugs in a beggar's hut. And you just stirred them up. They have a camp not far from here. I expect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. The stag lord won't take an insult like this slightly, and his henchmen are more like demons than men. How many bandits? What do they want? Lawful good. You have nothing to fear. I'll help you deal with the attack. I don't know. I'll help you. I'm not really interested in your post, but I'll never back down from a good fight. <laughs> They claim they were collecting taxes, why? I don't think this is too important for the Stag Lord and his crown is, of course. That Stag Lord fancies himself a king in these parts. He may have antlers for a crown, but all the troublemakers around here are happy to follow his orders as long as they get paid. So they charge an arm 
and leg as taxes and they called their executions punishment for treason, even those who never swore allegiance to the stag lord. They are killed fast if they are lucky, if not... Dove, why don't you go start pupper? supper while we finish our talk? Don't send away your wife! I have no need for, to be protected from dark talk. I'm not some blind kitten, you know. I've seen that what they do to people. Most of the gang is made up of simple bandits, but there are a few monsters among the leadership, especially those close to the stag lord. Ox and Dovan from uh, Nisrock come to mind. They like to make a show of their tortures and executions. My husband and I... We saw the bodies. I'll help you. I'm not really interested in your pose, but I never back down from a good fight. Well, thank you, I guess. I might even be able to scrape some sort of reward together for you if you manage to defend the post. Uh, we have to hide Svetlana. Please don't argue, Dove. Uh, now we also need to decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used for the battle. There are some pretty solid traps around, some tar, and a box of alchemist fire looks like. Alchemist fire! We could put it by the gate, light it off with a burning arrow when those bandits are nearby. But that could set the post on fire. Oleg shouts, surprised. Maybe if we covered the walls with something to protect them? Alright, yes, I, I think it would work. I'll even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be pretty good with the bow back in my day. Alright, I'm gonna look around. Alright, as soon as you're finished, let us know. And don't leave the post. The bandits could return at any time. I don't know. I won't be and can I just use this? Use the traps to help catch the bandits. We definitely need all the help we can get. That's a lot of traps. Is that is that gonna do it? We already have Boken's help. I think this is all we got. Do it my way. Are we good? Let's get back to the possible attack. How many bandits? That, that's all. I guess I'm ready for the attack. We'll talk later, let's save. I'm ready. Fear not, I'll stop between you and this scum. You are under my protection. Alright. Don't 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 get too excited. <laughs> Can we just hide in the back? Or I don't know. Maybe there's a way to Oh, that's good. Did I just rush in? It seems dangerous. Tear them apart! They're still coming. I don't know how I'm supposed to win this fight. But this is going decently. Going pretty well. Uh, sadly, dude went down. We see that he has minus survive. health. I always survive. Let us strike as one. Uh, let's do some heals. If we can. I can't avenge me. Oh wait. What? This was, this was uh, hopeful, but we got owned by the archers. Maybe we need, I think we have too much melee. Also, uh, not many, I don't know, I don't know what we need. I guess we're ready, like, we're not gonna get any more ready than this. 
And seems like this is the only thing we can do, which is a bit of a bummer, I have to say. So I'm gonna go on the left. And try not to get killed by all the archers. That would be good. Is Bulkan murdering so many dudes? I don't know. Oh, like, don't die! Quickly! This is not the end! You deserved it! Hello! You should really die. Oh, Lindsay, can you just go away? What, what the fuck? <laughs> He's cheating. Okay. We defended your trading post. It was a tough one, I have to say. That's a unidentified cloak. They had a lot of bows and arrows. Wait, what? Party encumbrance. Oh, this is the shared stash. And the shared stash is, is over encumbered. Holy crap. Oh, look. Oh, this is why we're slow. I'm dumb. <clears throat> and our book in here taught them a thing or two as well. Now, my lord, head on up to the guest room on the uh, guest room on the second floor. You, there's a you deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. Okay, thanks for that. I need to sell you my junk, and this is for your efforts. Now, don't offend me by trying to turn it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be. So much better. I like this. Please. Oh my god! He's not trading with me! Buy my shit! No! I'm taking a nap! And this is with a party that can carry quite a bit. Like, this guy can carry a lot. We're going to sleep slowly. Let me in. I'm just hoping that after the nap... You wanna trade? God damn it. I might just have to download the mod for this game. The mod that I use for basically every game. That... You have unlimited uh, carry weight. Because... I don't know. Because I'm just too lazy. I won't be halted. Let me rest! My lucky day. Oh, unlock it. Dude can't pin locks. So, don't I pick the lock. Like I, oh, I think none of us can pick locks. We do can we just rest? Please. Wait, what? Did I click on the bat? You wake up from a nasty dream that tortured you almost all night long. In it you saw a wall of unnaturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out the window and you find out that the fog was not a figment of your imagination. Not a dream, and then... Hear me. Please hear me. Please no. hear me. Please. She gonna repeat it again? The half-transparent outline of a beautiful nymph appears before you. Even in this ghostly form, it's clear that she's exhausted. Her shoulders are slouched, and her large blue eyes burn within her pale face. 
Her voice is barely more than a whisper as she reaches toward you. It seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Well, <coughs> this is not entirely uh, out of order. Slutty nymph. In my dreams. I think you have too, too many clothes. Who are you? I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Come on. Don't beat around the bush. You never do, dude. Be gone, spirit. I have enough of you. What? No more slutty nymphs for you? Come on, dude. What do you want from me? Don't be dense. Well, I just go with this. I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Beauty is so tender. It can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. What do you want? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. Well, the Stag Lord. What a name! Can't take him seriously. The Stag Lord is responsible for the fog? Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. And how might I help you? This fog. It enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandit's camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. Seems like hell of a trouble. But I might help out the slut and nymph in my dream. Alright. I'll see what I can do. I don't believe in fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Of course it was not a coincidence. Okay. <clears throat> there are no threats in this location. It is a sort of headquarters where you can prepare your party for a new expedition. Such locations, companions don't follow you around and will go about their own business. You can speak with them freely to get to know them better. Once you exit this location and return to the global map, 
you will be able to choose the companions you wish to take with you, leaving the others here. Whenever you meet new companions but don't want to include them in your party right away, that companion will travel to this location on their own. I can run now! So what, what's going on? Overloaded. That's not good. Let's put more stuff. Wait, what? Goods? Take it all. No one stands. I'll figure it out way. later. Open it. I lead. You follow. Can I just go to sleep? More, more slutty nymphs. Nope, but we got some health, so I suppose that's a plus too. Hey, so I got we do it my way. Noriel Eight Eyes. Wait, what? A new companion? Possible companion? I don't care. I do care. I do care a lot, but I want to sell my crap. Good day. I hope you're feeling right. All right, after that battle, I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I definitely don't want to waste your time, but if you have a moment, I have a request. Please, woman, take my stuff! What do you want? This is a very personal request. Maybe not important enough for your time. I'll, I'll completely understand if you say no, but the first time the stag lord tugs came here demanding money, they also took my wedding ring. Just tore it off my hand. It's just a drink, it really, but it meant so much to me. I remember every moment of the day Oleg came to me, that ring in hand, to ask if I'd marry him. I was standing in a fancy dress on the stairs of my father's home, fearing that I misheard something or that I'd say something stupid and everyone around would laugh. If you happen to find my ring among the bandit's possessions, please bring it back to me. It's easy to recognize, my name is engraved inside the band. There's one more thing. Among the bandits, there's a dark-haired woman who wields dual axes. She's not bad in a fight, in fact she can be extremely dangerous and cruel, but please, I beg you, show her mercy. If you have a chance. I can't promise anything, but if you if I do come across your ring, I'll pocket it. Okay, I'm just gonna say no promises. I understand. I appreciate any effort you put into it. Now tell me about yourself. How did you and your husband find the courage to establish trading post in the stolen lands? It was Oleg's idea, though I supported him in it. We didn't realize how dangerous it, wa it was here, of course. In Restov, everyone respects the sword lords, and everyone accustomed to relying on them. Even the mention of someone like Lady Jamandi could be enough to fend off a street dog or, or some other trouble. It could be maybe even work in some places here, but not with the stag lord's man. What can you tell me about him? He's not just some average bandit. If no one puts a stop to him, he'll turn the stolen lands into his personal kingdom. A kingdom of fear and oppression. <clears throat> it would be a kingdom of lawlessness. Once I've dealt with the stag lord, your life will improve. I'm okay. I like adventures. I can't promise that. That's just dishonest. I like adventures, but I definitely prefer the ones that involve stopping villains and helping people. I, I could say that. Fear always follows power. It would be naive to think Staglord is so much different from any other ruler. I don't think that's lawful evil to say. I, I'm very tempted to say that, but it's not lawful evil to say. Just because I can make that... Uh, uh, I can note that, just say like, that is true. 
not not always. But yeah, like I definitely agree with the second part. Staggled is not that much different. In life, you either inspire fear or recover from it. I prefer to be the one who's feared. No, no, no. I have to go with chaotic good. I can't thank you enough for the hope you've given me, but please be careful. A stag lord is extremely dangerous. I'll go now. I don't know, I didn't perform a chaotic good action. I presented myself I won't be as like someone like, okay, I might do it. Hey, Lindsay. <clears throat> is she a girl? Is she a girl? Like, how do you know? How do you know? Well, she seems like a halfling woman. Or maybe a young, young woman. I don't know, I can't tell. How do you know? A halfling girl with uh, tuss tussled hair, wearing a dusty traveler's outfit. It's chewing the tip of her quill. Just a moment. How should I put this? Oh, I know. She scribbles something quickly in her notebook. Notebook scrawled. Scrolled with uh, worse, raises her eyes and gives you a bright smile. Oh, hi. Um, you come from Pidax, right? Tell me about it. Oh, I love Pidax. Even though they kick me out. Joyful place. Why did they kick you out? What's life in Pidax like? Actually, Pidax has always been uh, one huge nest of thieves. Bandits, river pirates, smugglers, fences, guard sharps. It's always been home for the likes of them. But that was before Yervete became king. With him, a whole different life began there. Yervati always wanted to make history, but not as another bandit with a crown. Though that's exactly what he is. <laughs> he wanted to be glorified through the centuries as a great patron of the arts, so he built the Academy of Grand Arts and spent lots of gold to assemble the best artists, poets and musicians. Of course! The very best ones refused to go, but he got what he won in a way. If Pitax was once just a booze barn for thieves, now it's a cabaret. Hmm. So you studied at that academy? You know, jokes aside, I'm thankful to Yervati for building it, but he has no taste at all, whatsoever. He likes his art loud, bright, Grandiose, and most importantly, glorifying his royal highness. He kicked out the best charcoal artist because he didn't wish to spend money on grey scribbles. He sacked the masterful flute player from Tianxia for playing too quietly and instead ordered them to open a kettle drum class. Even He even ordered the academy to expel me. And for what? An innocent limerick. <clears throat> Would you like to go back to the academy and finish your studies? I'd like to return, but on one condition. If they threw out three quarters of the professors who teach there now and returned all the ones they banished. He asked me, I'm proud to have been expelled. If my art was to your vet disliking, then I would have reason to be ashamed. <laughs> As long as med mediocre lickspittles sit at the academy and those with real talent beg on the streets, pit axe, I will not cross the threshold of that place. Hmm. What do you know of King Yervati? He won his crown in a game of cards, which says as much about pit axe as it does it about him. He's fiendishly clever. Some cheats I know told me that from the moment he appeared, he started pulling off such schemes that the old city masters just scratched their heads. With him in charge, gold flowed into Pitax, and also his incredibly, unimaginably, fantastically decadent and conceited. Getting drunk with whores at the pub? That's not Lord Yervati's style. Oh no, he aims higher, dressing up like a Male Calistria. Uh, what is this? Goddess of Lust. Okay. <clears throat> With a golden codpiece and holding 
a free week orgy with dancing on the rooftops, parades, public executions, and a contest for the best oath, the great unrivaled king. That's more like it. That sounds fun. <laughs> he also likes singing. Ugh. He orders his guards to make citizens getters gather for his shows. May Shalin have mercy on his listeners. Alright. Pitax. What a guy. Tell me about yourself. I don't know. Do we want to have a, like a huge chat here? Where are you from? How did, how did you become guard? Bard. Where are you from? <clears throat> I'm from all over. <laughs> I was actually born in Galt. In such a tiny village that not even on the maps. If it weren't for my teacher, I'd still be living there. Milking goats, weeding turnips, swilling homebrew, having babies and using my books as... Only as kindling. Yeah. I know. That's how a lot of us start out. Who was your teacher? <clears throat> He's a true saint. He was once an important person in the capital, at the church of Shalin. You should know about Shalin. Goddess of Art. Okay. But he got in trouble with the authorities and went on a self-imposed exile to the tiniest, most godforsaken, priestless village he could find, the one where I was born. He wanted to open a school, but the villagers wouldn't let him. You can heal us all you like, but no putting any ideas in our children's heads. It will only distract them from, from their work. But he did teach me on the slime. He taught me how to read, how to write. He gave me books, poems, legends. He was the one who told me about the Arknights of Abistam. <clears throat> and when I told him I was going on a journey, he gave me magic rings so Shalin would protect me from harm. Hmm, I haven't seen him since. I ran away from home. I hope he's alright. I ask Shalin every day to grant him a long life. And new students. Arc Knights of Aviston? Wow, so much text! You worship Shalin? Yes, not to offend the other gods, but she's the most important of them all. All the other gods guard the world as it is, but only the Eternal Rose, goddess of beauty, calls us to the world as it should be. How do you become bored? When I realized there was nothing for me at home besides more radish patches, I decided to run away. Traveling book peddler, Tessie the Quill, happened across our village. Well, I stuck to her like a burr and wouldn't let go until she agreed to take me as an apprentice. Together we traveled everywhere. Ravoy, Taldor, even Ustalav. And then I found out about the Academy of Grand Arts in Pitax. <clears throat> and I thought, well, I love reading stories, so I can surely learn to write them too. I enrolled on my first try, and they even gave me a scholarship. And they expelled me, <laughs> but that's okay. They already taught me all the important stuff, and now, challenge help, I can manage on my own. Arc Knights of Aviston? Who are they? Oh, you haven't heard of them? How can you be a hero without knowing one of the most epic stories in the history of stories? They... No, I won't spoil anything. You should just read about them yourself. Every single chapter, their adventures are what gave me the idea of going on a heroic quest and writing about it to begin with. And now, look at me. Here I am. An heroic quest. Why are you close so messy? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for saying that, but seriously. We can just buy some new clothes. Actually, I gave her those clothes. God damn it. Oh, at least the armor. Lizzie waves her hand carelessly. Forget it. I can't waste money on looks. I'd rather buy books instead. In a hundred years when people are reading my works. Yeah, I'm going to ask whether the author had holes in her sleeves. It's stylish anyway! Let me tell you that. You're ahead of your... Your head. I'm saying. In the future, who knows? Maybe people will wear rags. 
Only rags. <clears throat> okay. I like that. I like those priorities. Let's talk about something else. I have so much to talk about. I don't know. Maybe we've got to talk some other time. Just don't leave me. Don't leave without me. Of course. I, I could just write whatever you tell me. But I wanted to stay cooped up in a dusty room. I've been sleeping through lectures of the, at the academy. I thought you were paying attention. Anorial eight eyes. Hey. Oh, no, no picture. That's a bad sign. <clears throat> the elf looks straight at you, through the tangled hair falling over her face. Hey, you are the adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stolen lands? You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Judging by the elf's voice, it's obvious that she started the day with a jug of wine. Who are you? So many conversation options. I want to explore them, but also... Come on. Noriel Eight Eyes. Once upon a time, I was famous throughout Absalom. An Oriel Eight Eyes of the Reckless Six. Well... Glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. Are you called Eight Eyes? Once long ago, I could spot an enemy, pin him to the wall before he could even think attacking. Some said I had eight eyes and look all around at once. Though it seems I've outlived my nickname. <clears throat> Noria stretches her arm. Afterward, her palm trembles noticeably. I've been drinking so much lately. It's best I don't test my skills too often. What are you doing here? I sit here waiting for adventurers who are in need of help. You may be sitting here in a backwoods tavern, but in Absalom I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have brave hearts, but shallow pockets. A little gold would be a welcome change for them. You can send uh, them a message and uh, they will come from Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign and we'll arrange everything right away. So she's a mercenary uh, hire person. I need loyal and experienced fighters. I have friends like that. Just decide who exactly you need. They will come on my signal. This will cost you 2000 Let me think about it. That's a that's a good way to say I don't have the money. Would you like to join me? Uh-uh. I got enough things to do already. Better manage things uh, on your own. <sighs> okay. Where were you when the pity post uh, got attacked? There's something. I got a little lost in the mist, which is the first time that's happened to me. Guess I should go easier in the drink. But don't you imagine I'll be scared of a good fight? If only I'd known I was missing all the action. <sighs> but I see, you got everything under control. Alright. Head on! Head on! Please, straight with me! Oh look, buy my stuff! Greetings! Oleg seems uh, to be in a good mood. Greets you warmly. You certainly ruffled uh, those villains' feathers. Is that it? Show me your stuff! Well, anyway, uh, new troubles. Have you seen the fog? Never seen anything like it before. The road to rest up looks like someone spilled milk and just hung in the air. I couldn't see anything uh, through th that soup. Not even with torch. Feels like witchcraft to me. I bet Staglord's involved somehow. Rumors say he deals with all kinds of bad magic. Show me your stuff. Nothing too good. Well, wait till you see what I got. I got like the... I got so much garbage. Can we just list by weight? Weight descending order. Garbage. 
I don't know if I want to keep one of those. I have so many of those. Hey, what is this? There's no way I, I want that. That's more likely that I want that. Great axe. Headed armor. Oh, look at that! 71 gold for all of it. Well, what is that? Torches or clubs? Wait, what? These are actually valuable? Or the composite bows? Oh, the composite longbows. Those have value. Not the longbows, though. Sword bows. Eyed armor. That's medium armor. Yeah, that, that should be fine for now. Are we still... Is this still heavy? Can we, can we check it? That, that still counts as heavy. So much crap. I have to sell some daggers and whatnot. Vulcan! Where are my Return other companions? My way. Miri. Did she just destroy draining Mana Queen? I don't need your help anymore. Pack your things and leave. We're just talking. You don't like it? Oh, never mind that. Well, you gotta talk. All right, spill it. I'm listening. I would be more into it if it was voice acted. Tell me about yourself. Um, the simple question seems to puzzle Amiri. She scratches her head, then starts counting on her fingers. First, I'm a barbarian. I'm strong. Um, I grew up in. Realm of the Mammoth Lords? I've, I left my tribe six bears. Amir looks thoughtfully at her four bent fingers and shrugs. That I like fights! She concludes, bending her thumb. What does it like to be a barbarian of the six bears tribe? Ha! Our people are big and. Strong. That's not exactly her voice. I can't do her voice! I'm not a woman! Even if I was a woman, I couldn't do her voice. Our people are big and strong. We can cut a monster in half with one swing. We can walk three days and nights with no rest. We can eat a whole fried aurochs. I guess you had a lot of training to become as strong as you are. Training? <laughs> <laughs> that one freaking trained me. Those boys of the six bears got the training. All I could do was watch. And you know what? Though they were still crap, even after all that training, because I kicked their butts so hard. Animals, bandits, monsters. I thought they were stronger than me. Idiots! And because you. S if you start a fight, you think you can win? You think. If you think you. Well, you think you're stronger than your enemy. I defeated them all. See all the scars on my face? What does Realm of the Mammoth Lord look like? Huge and freezing. No place for weakling. Tribes hunt aurochs, hurt to survive. Aurochs are fast, so tribe follows hurt for days. Just do not die of hunger. If you're weak, you stay behind and die in the snow. Tribe cannot stop. Also, there are giants and mammoths. Sometimes demons come too. Oh, and the mastodons. And the saber toothed tigers. You would survive, I think, for a few days. <laughs> How do you leave your tribe? Uh, Cause they were weak assholes, all of them. Men were cowards and scoundrels, and women were scared like sheep. Men there think no girl can fight, can be a fighter, because they are weak. They are afraid of a woman can beat them. And females just nod. Go 
Sue hides, cook meat, watch kids. That's what they always say, but I'm warrior, dammit. I won't cook hides and watch meat. <clears throat> I told them so. I went hunting with men. And what did I get? Still the same. You are a woman. You stay home. They even gave me a nickname. The Soft Chieftain. Like a warrior woman was a funny joke. Damn, I even went to hunt those shit-faced frost giants. And there, there... <sighs> After a moment, Amiri waves her hand awkwardly and forces herself to grin. So I left. Cowards. Scoundrels. Sisses they were. That's why. You're a good fighter. Pfft. Why good, huh? Compared to who? If I was crappy male, I'll fight better. Is that what you say? <laughs> no. Or you say I could be better? Like, go get him? Training a mirror right? I, I meant exactly what I said. You're a good fighter. Don't raise your voice to me ever again. What the fuck? I'm not like that. <clears throat> You're very good in the fight. You're an excellent warrior. I've just given you a compliment. That's all. Um, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't find her rude. Thanks for telling me. Let's talk about something else. Jesus, so much to... Th Thanks for talking, Minnie. We're just talking. You don't like it? I don't know. Depends what we're gonna talk about. If it's all about monsters or swords or scars, I approve. That's all good. And if you're gonna ask questions like why and what for and how, screw this! Or you got even harder ones. <laughs> why did you leave your tribe and what's the story about the frost giants? I don't know, you're so nosy, dude! I don't I don't really like this because the voice acting just completely dropped. And there's just an information overload at this point. I can just go and just like buck her for like two hours straight. Thanks for talking with me. Let's speak to you later. Talking, talking. When will we do some monster killing instead? Ugh. All right. I think it's time to. I, I want to balance it. We might, we might want to talk because I do want to get to know the companions, but also. Where the hell are we gonna? Uh, but also, uh, I do want to do the story, and uh, I don't think we're gonna talk with Valor at this time. I lead, you follow. So where are we going? Am I supposed to just head out into the house? Is there a way to? I won't be halted. So where, where am I supposed to go now? Hmm. Silver spoon. Got that. Oleg, can you just like we do it my make me leave this place? Pick another time, farewell. I think w maybe wait, is there a way to uh, just to leave the I opened the map. Maybe over here. So this is more like a headquarters, headquarters for now. And uh, just get yeah, yeah, this is what we do. So I I have to select the party and just we just head out. Okay, got it. I just thought maybe that you can just like um, go however you want, just like click anytime <clears throat> and leave like that. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.